Hi, my name is Colin Millerchip and I work at Redgate Software as part of the team developing SQL Monitor. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to SQL Monitor version 5, which we released in October 2015. If you're not already familiar with SQL Monitor, it's a performance monitoring tool that helps you manage your SQL servers, keeping an eye on them 24-7, alerting you to problems or potential problems, helping you diagnose the root cause and keep your system up and running. Version 5 has two new key features, active directory integration and improved support for monitoring always-on availability groups. First, let's look at active directory integration. You can now use your Windows credentials to log into SQL Monitor, and SQL Monitor administrators have granular control over which monitored servers you're allowed to see. This improves collaboration, for example, giving developers performance insights into production servers without having to grant them direct access or allowing your BI team to only see the servers relevant to them. It also allows you to share administration duties across the team of people looking after your servers. To enable Active Directory integration, go to the Configuration tab and select Authentication settings. By default, SQL Monitor uses built-in credentials. To switch to using Active Directory, select this as your authentication type. Now, configure the domain information and select a service account used to query Active Directory. Save the settings, and SQL Monitor will ask you to set up a user as administrator. Now, log on as this admin user. and you'll be taken to the configuration screen where you can add in any users who you want to give access to SQL Monitor. You can add individual users as well as groups of users. For standard users, not only do you restrict their access to some of the more administrative features of SQL Monitor, such as license management, but you can restrict the set of servers that they can manage. All the authorization data is stored internally within SQL Monitor, so this feature requires no modification of your Active Directory domain. Now let's look at availability group support. Prior to version 5, SQL Monitor would monitor the host machines running an always-on availability group, but had no availability group specific features. With the introduction of version 5, SQL Monitor now has availability group overviews, alerts, metrics and wait types. The overview gives you an at-a-glance view of the status of an availability group. You can see information about availability group specific alerts, the state and failover information for availability replicas and databases, and key availability database metrics. Further details on the meaning of these fields and their values can be found in the online product documentation. As for any other overview in SQL Monitor, you can drill through to see details of alerts or metrics. SQL Monitor version 5 ships with seven pre-configured availability group alerts, covering areas including the health of availability group databases and replicas, whether replication is falling behind and whether replication is slowing down query execution on your primary replica. Of course, these metrics can be extended using SQL Monitor's custom metrics and alerting features. Time series data collected from availability groups is available within the Analysis tab. Again, you can drill through from the overviews to get to this. And if you're already monitoring host machines running availability groups, then upgrading to version 5 
will automatically provide you with these availability group features. As to other changes in version 5, if you're already familiar with SQL Monitor version 4, you'll have noticed that we've refreshed the user interface, both to make it easier to use and to make the UI faster and more responsive. Other changes include improving the stability of the monitoring service, and SQL Monitor version 5 has been fully tested against community technology previews of SQL Server 2016. If you want to find out more about SQL Monitor, visit the product homepage, or better still, give us a call to arrange a demo or get help with your evaluation.